Running down a dream, woohoo, woohoo. For the Patreon folks who not only came up with this brilliant idea, also had the sense to upvote it. Thanks for that, guys. But before we get going, if you don't mind, I'd like to take just a moment to thank the following people for joining the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Corey Hodgden, Jacob Tweed, and Torice Diaz. Folks, thank you very, very, very much for your support. So, <laughs> if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. You're going to love this opening riff. It happens all on one string, and you will only need one finger. <laughs> open seven, open six, open five, open three, open. Open seven, open six, open five, open three, open, and then E. But if you listen very carefully, there's no third in this E chord. The guitar player who does this doesn't play a chord. And Tom Petty plays the power chord E on the seventh fret of the A string. Three fingers, mind you. So A7, D9, G9, and you also hear the open E and B string. So if you want to combine them, you're going to be like half a beat late on getting to that E chord, but that's okay. <laughs> intro. The verse is where it becomes the most evident that nobody's playing open chords in this part in the studio recording. It's the power chords. As we said with the open strings ringing out, you're going to have your E ringing out that you did at the end of the intro. And we're going to be where you are and two frets lower at D. It was a beautiful day. The sun beat down. I had the radio on back up. I was dry. Do it again. And that brings us to the chorus, which is not too terribly difficult, but it's a little confusing, so you might want to write this down. It's comprised of five lines of chords. Normally songs have four lines or eight lines or something divisible by four, so I'm a little thrown off, but it's going to be D, G, E, followed by E, G, A, do that whole thing again, D, G, E, E, G, A, and the fifth thing is A, G, E, and the woohoo section, which is the best use of these power chord open string thing that we've got going on in this song. It's C on the third fret of the A string, woo -hoo! Up two frets to D, and up to E. Do it again. C, third fret, D, fifth fret, and E. That's your bridge. The two signature things that happen in the solo, the first one goes on for like 45 seconds, right? You gotta grab the E string 12th fret with your pointer finger, and the B string 15th fret with your ring finger. You might also, you probably also want to put your middle finger on the B string 4th fret. Its only purpose here is to bolster your ring finger, because what we're gonna do is strum both strings, and we're gonna bend the B string so that... <laughs> It gets up to the note that the E string is. I call this move two becomes one, and you can just do it for hours and hours. And the other signature thing that happens is grab baby E 17 and end up on B 17, or you could end up on E 12. But that's kind of a stretch. So I'm going for the B 17. Other than that, use your E minor pentatonic, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, and do your... Do your thing. But that's all there is to say, and the mailman's about to run over my dog, so I gotta go. Thanks so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.